Lions TV, we are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can see in and around me. If you are going to do a bit of business, then please keep it in the Millwall family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below. The news has broken. The news we was all waiting for. The news, I think we all knew. It was the worst kept secret in South London. There is an air to Neil Harris's very successful throne, and his name is Gary Rowett, named as Millwall manager for, I can't tell you how long for, if I'll be honest with you, because I'm filming this before the actual news has broken. As I said, everyone knew that it was on the cards, and it was impending. It was announced by lots of people last night that Gary Rowett would be our new manager, and it's confirmed, job done. Gary Rowett comes south for the first time in his managerial career, having previously managed Burton, Birmingham, Derby, and of course, most recently, Stoke City, he comes in and I'm pretty sure he's going to be announced on the pitch tomorrow night before the game against Cardiff. Adam Barrett will take charge for that game. I'm hearing Adam Barrett could stay on as um, in a coaching role. You'll probably know more than I will on that note at the minute. As I said, I'm recording this before the news is actually broken because I like to be hot off the press or hot off the semi-press really. I've sort of gone early and not given you the full details. But I'm sure the club have informed you of the full details. Gary Rowett's first competitive game in charge for Millwall will be against his former club Stoke, who also bring Lee Gregory to town on his return to the Den. So with a good following as well from Stoke, it will be a decent, decent day on Saturday at the Den. But I'll cover that in a pre-match prediction. Gary Rowett had a very good long playing career. He started his career at Cambridge before moving to Everton. He also played in the Premier League for Leicester and Cholton before moving on to Derby, as well as other clubs, as I said, as he's managed Burton and Birmingham. So Gary Rowett gets named as Millwall manager, and I'm probably not off to the best start once again <laughs> with the gaffer. If you've seen my previous videos, he was the one I wanted least out of the three. But what I will say is this, I will absolutely 100% now get behind Gary Rowett and back, back him to the hilt. I don't think he's a bad manager. I said that. I, you know, his, his record speaks for itself. Started off at Burton. Uh, he took over, actually, from Paul Pesky Salido. He was caretaker manager, and then he got made permanent manager after guiding them to the playoffs, where they lost to Bradford. The following year, he got them to the playoff final, where they lost to Fleetwood, and then he went to Birmingham. At Birmingham, he steadied a sinking ship, and he'd done all right, turning their fortunes around, and they were finishing 10th around, sort of 10th-ish, before new owners come in and sacked him because they just wanted to bring in their own clientele, as in... Gianfranco Zola. He got back into management at Derby. He took Derby over when they was around 10th, 10-ish, mid-table. And he guided them to the playoffs, which is, to be honest, no more than you'd expect from Derby every year, though. Surely their, um, their minimum requirement is to make the playoffs every season. This season could be a little bit fucking different, uh, given the current situation, what's been going on there. And after that, when approached by Stoke City, he asked for the Derby's board permission to speak to Stoke. Stoke's a bit of a problem area for me with him. That's the one I'm, I'm not too keen on, because... He had a lot of money to spend at Stoke, and he didn't spend it wisely, and he didn't he didn't do any good there, which in effect saw him get sacked in January of this year. Um, others will say he was a it was a it was a sinking ship that couldn't be saved. Uh, Stoke and you know uh, Nathan Jones going in after him, who is a proven good manager, couldn't do any good either. So maybe you can, you can allow him that one at Stoke. But listen, for whatever reason, whether it's his fault or not, I just felt that Gary Rowett, especially being an Northern boy. His heart wouldn't be that much in it at Millwall. He'd want to come and do a good job, but as soon as a good offer would be on the table, he could be off to pastures new. I just don't think he's going to have a long, illustrious career as a Millwall manager. But having said that, you know you can't argue with his record. Look at his managerial record. He does do okay in places that he goes. It's just not one that really excited me, but he's still done there. And now we need to focus on getting behind Gary Rowett. Another slight concern I did have... And I've heard a rumour, and I'm sure a lot of people have heard the same rumour, that obviously he was favourite for the job at first. Then he slipped away from favourite. I heard this, the, the rumours was that the reason he slipped away from favourite, and I've seen a lot of people comment on this, and a lot of people say it, so this isn't breaking news for anyone who wants to string me up. He wants to bring in his complete backroom staff, all his own backroom staff, which obviously isn't a problem. I think it shows good ambition from Rowett. I think he's very ambitious, and unfortunately, it pains me to say it, I'm not sure our club shares the same ambitions as he does. The money he spent at Stoke, you know, he's going to come into this job. And he would have he would have discussed budget with a ball to spend on players, but there's not going to be any. And I think that could be a that could be a test of um, Rowett's character. I think that could be something he's not faced before. Uh, managing predominantly, unfortunately, again, it pains me to say, a, a lower standard championship club in Millwall. But he's had a long time off from football. He spends a lot of time doing punditry on TV. And he has said that it's made him a better manager for the time off he's had. And, 
Miss Abbott, right, no offence, but beggars can't be choosers. It is a good job at Millwall. Millwall are uh, a well-respected club, are a very controversial and well-talked-about club. And it is a perfect opportunity for Raul to show the uh, previous people, previous employers, and people are not too sure of him, including myself, the way um, that he can turn it around and do a good job at Millwall. And listen, of course we want him to succeed. We all want him to succeed, and we have to absolutely now get behind him. As I said, it wasn't my first choice as manager, but... Uh, Again, I'll say this, I'm just a foul roofer from Wellham. That's all I am. I'm just a fan. I pay my money like everyone else. And it's just my opinion. I would have preferred it someone else. But now, Rao, it's got the job. We have to back him. It was, it was a, an appointment. I'll put a poll out on Twitter and I've seen a lot of other fans say it. All the other Lions TV boys have been on my back about it. They all want Rao it. A lot of them because Kenny and Joe just won a few quid and eight days, I think. But, um, yeah, listen, a lot of Mill fans wanted Rao it. So, for the first time in a long time, the fans seem to have got what they wanted, you know. Sometimes the club will do things and people will go, well, that's shit, the club don't care about what the fans think. It doesn't matter what the fans think in this situation. The club has to appoint the manager they think best to take the club forward. But as it coincidence would have it, it's also the it's, it, Gary Rowett is also the man that a lot of the fans want. So there you go, Gary Rowett is Millwall's new manager, the new legacy, let's hope it's a legacy, the new chapter in Millwall Football Club's managerial history begins and Gary Rowett takes over from club legend Neil Harris after his very successful four seasons at the club. This season, all we have to do is survive. Survival now is priority um, and sort out these fucking leaking late goals because it's absolutely uh, killing my will to live at the minute. I'm sure it is a lot of you as well, especially the ones who travel to Brentford on Saturday. But I'm going to stop talking for now. I might get other reactions from other boys at Lions TV. I might do a live stream later on tonight. But for now, Gary Rowett is the new Mill manager. Whew. and breathe. It's been a very busy summer. It's been a very busy early part of the season for us. What, are we 10 games in? Feels like it's gone on for about three years this season already, but only things now can come from it that will be positive. Things are looking up. New manager in. Hopefully new clientele to follow. New coaching staff, and we'll stop conceding goals beyond the 80th minute. It would be lovely, wouldn't it? Gary Rowett, welcome to Millwall from everyone at Lions TV. I'm your biggest fan, Gal, I promise you. Gary the Gaffer, long may you reign. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.